What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today should be Wednesday for you guys, I think. Yeah, today should be Wednesday for you guys. So happy Wednesday out there. Season 2, episode 3 is here. And I have to say, man, I'm enjoying this series. It makes me mad. It makes me sad. Whatever <laughs> the situation is. So we're not going to waste much time here. Um, just want to say, man, um, Guthrie is a bitch, of course, always got to say that, um, got to call out the people for who they are in this series, you know what I mean? It gets me so mad that people can just turn on this guy so easily because for some reason they view him as a threat when he's actually not, when all he's trying to do is get home. This man has two people he wants to kill. His uncle and Kiartan and freaking Sven. That's it. Three people, if you want to say that. Three people he wants to kill. This man don't give a shit about anybody else. He just wants to kill those people because Kiartan killed his family and his uncle took his birthright, right? That's it. The man, he'll help you if you help him. That's about it. He'll help you if you help him. I can get why you wouldn't want to listen to Uhtred sometimes. I really do. I really do. I really get it. But at the same time, why betray this man? Why betray this man? This man has done nothing. Yes, he's a bit irrational sometimes. Yes. You know, because he lets his e e e e e um he lets his emotions drive him too much sometimes, over the edge at points. But does that mean you have to shaft him so much every time? Jesus, man! I'll see you guys for the review. All right, so that was season one, season two, episode three, man. <sighs> this series gets me so riled up. I didn't expect this. You know what I'm saying? I really didn't. I didn't expect it to um, be... Shut up, Siri. Right? I didn't expect it to be like this with this series, and, and it is. So, I really do appreciate that this series really gets me so emotional and stuff like that. Um, but other than that, man, um, definitely, as I said, one of the more emotional episodes of the series, um, season two, episode three, got me my feelings. Of course, of course, of course, this, uh, it's just such a beautiful story, man. And I relate to his character so much. It's, you know what I'm saying? I think if I rewrote my story, if I was born back in the day, I think it would have went exactly like this. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you, bro. I really do feel like this man, you know, if I lived my life back in those days, I probably would have went through some shit like this. I'm talking about from maybe not the whole, you know, importance because I'm like, the, you know, well, I, I don't know. I don't know. But other than that part of it, you know. Coming from an important family, I guess. Other than that part of it, I think, um, you know, I think I would have lived a very similar life. <laughs> um, not to the T, but definitely very similar within the things that he's going through and stuff like that. And it, it, I know they're doing it in the show to show that contrast between his character and other people's character and how easily people who call you friend can just abandon you and Uhtred doesn't do that because he's a he's I mean he's the most honorable person in the show you know don't get me wrong I love me some Alfred even though I, I think they kill that old man from Mercia I think they killed him <laughs> I really do think they killed him I you know I don't know what they did to him but that man just choked right in the middle of a conversation it was so weird <laughs> but it is what it is I think they killed the old man 
um, to get somebody else in charge or whatever the situation is. There's no proof of that, but I think it happened. Even if it did not, even if he probably had a heart attack, could have been just a heart attack, but it just seems so convenient that to get him out of the way. You get what I'm saying? Because he wasn't going to budge. Man said he needs swords. Give him swords. You know what I'm saying? But he wasn't going to budge. He wasn't for the unity of the of of everywhere or of Wessex and Mercia. He wasn't for that. He's like, listen, I need swords. Uh, you sending people up north. You're not even sending them to come protect me. We don't need no unity, right? So um, also in the comment section, as I said during the video, I need you guys to explain to me the whole pain for this marriage, the arranged marriage things. Like it's like you're paying for the person, which is kind of weird. Or it's a promise. I guess it's, I don't know if it's a promise or you got to pay the church to get married. I don't know. I don't know. You guys going to have to explain it to me because they don't really explain the process during the show. You just kind of see this happening and you don't understand the, the significance of it. You get what I'm saying? I could look it up, but I'd rather hear it from you guys because you guys have a better knowledge of certain things. A lot of you guys are from Europe and stuff like that. So you might have a better knowledge of the history than me actually going to Google it or whatever. Plus, it's more fun to read your comments about it. Um, so, yeah, man, that was a pretty good episode. I really enjoyed it. Um, emotional episode, definitely. The actors definitely killed um, all the scenes in this episode, man. I'm so glad that Ragnar showed up right on time. Sven with his bitch ass running again. Run back to your daddy, bitch. You know, Um so I'm looking forward to seeing what else are they going to do now. I'm more interested in this series since the beginning of season two than I was when I started season one. You know what I mean? Because it's just this season two is just they, they just ramped it up. You know what I'm saying? So far, every episode this season has been a 10 out of 10 for me. So we might be on the way to the first 10 out of 10 season. Give season one, eight, nine out of 10. So season two might get a 10 out of 10 from me. But regardless of that, very good show. I'm enjoying it very well. Um, um, what else happened in the episode that I can talk about? Uh, we all know that, you know, Guthrie, he's spiraling because nobody wants to take his side now. They ended up promising um, Gisela. So glad that Uchi showed up, but he's already married. I don't give a shit. Dude, Abbott needed to die. Glad he's dead. Um, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't surprised at all that Uhtred killed him. He deserved to die. He deserved to die because he felt he felt like he was invincible. And they all talking about, oh, he's a, he's a man of God. That man was no man of God, okay? He was manipulating Guthrid to do whatever he wanted to do. That's what he was doing. And that's why I don't care. I don't care. I know Hild felt some sort of way about it, and I feel where she's coming from because they believe no man should kill a priest, whatever the situation is. I understand that Alfred had to act about that. You know what I'm saying? But people, for some reason, people just don't understand circumstances. Yes, he killed, he killed the priest. He didn't have to, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? You got to understand that the type of person that Uhtred is. Sometimes you just got to shut your mouth. Sometimes you're just going to shut your mouth. What you think... I think he believed that Uhtred would have never killed him because, oh, this and that and whatever, but now he dead. What? Now you dead. What? You've been forcing things this whole time. Now you're going to force somebody to get married because, oh, y'all think... Y'all think shit is cute around here. No. He deserved to die. As I said, in the context of the show, he deserved every bit of that knife that he got. Every bit of it. But in any case, you guys might disagree, but that's my stance on it um, right now. Yes, I know. I've said it I've said it before, and I've admitted to it. Uhtred does act irrationally sometimes, um, <clears throat> you know, and act out of anger. And he's very emotional because this man just basically had had a hand in killing one of his friends he is fresh off of all of that you are not gonna sit there mr judge in the comment section and tell me 
that you in that position wouldn't be emotional and angry about what they're doing when everything is so fresh. Everything is so fresh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you might have that kind of restraint, but I don't care. I don't think, I think I probably would have done the same thing in Uther's position by killing that dude because the, he warned him probably like three times, like, say that shit again. And he kept saying it. And he says, say it again. And he kept saying it. Nah. Get down to the ground. That's what you get. You know what I mean? You know, and I feel bad for Hill. I don't know if Hill is going to stick with him now. That that he did that. I don't know. Or maybe she's going to feel like she's cursed or something. But you also got to understand that Uhtred is, is a pagan. That's what you guys call him. That's what you guys call him. You guys say he's a pagan. So he doesn't belong to, to any group. He's a man on his own. He don't belong to the to the English. He don't be belong to the Danes. You know what I'm saying? So he's not a Saxon and he's not a Dane in my eyes. You guys call him a pagan. You know, he just happens to be affiliated with these people. To be honest, that's how I look at it. So in any case, guys, I appreciate y'all. I will catch you guys later. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to comment. Catch you guys later, man. Peace.